If you have forgotten your administrator password either for the domain or for the local computer, then you can reset it as long as you have a bootable ISO or DVD of the Windows setup disk that you used to install Windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot off of the DVD. I'm going to right click and I'm going to shut down and then boot off of that DVD when I restart. So I'm booting off of the DVD right now, or the ISO that's mounted as your Windows boot disk. And when it gets into the repair area, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of changes. I'm going to click Next and choose Repair Your Computer. And I'm going to go to where it says Troubleshoot and choose the Command Prompt. Now we need to know which particular volume is going to be the bootable one, so we just need to kind of check around for the drive that has the Windows and Users folder on it. So I'll try the C drive. So it looks like in this case it's the C drive, but it could be the D, it could be F, I mean it could be a lot of different ones. But this looks like it's the right one. If you're ever not sure, you can just type the word disk part, all one word, and then type list space volume, and it'll tell you which one is the boot drive. So now that we know that we're in the correct one, I'm just going to clear the screen, and I'm going to change over to the Windows directory, and then System32. Now I'm going to rename utilman.exe, which is the accessibility program, to utilman dot old or one two three whatever it is you want to call it and in this case i just spelled it wrong altogether but that actually doesn't matter now i'm going to copy the command.exe because that's what we want to pop up and we're going to call that utilman.exe now just to make sure that this was done correctly i'm going to do a dir of command.exe and see the size it's 331,000 bytes then i'm going to do a dir of utilman .exe and just confirm it's the same size, and it is. So we know that that was correct. Now I'm going to type a couple of more commands, bcd edit slash set, followed by boot manager, and then put the timeout of 15 seconds, and then I want to do a display boot menu, yes. You can go back in and change that to no after you're all done. I'm going to type exit, and I'm going to turn the PC off. I'm going to take out my DVD as a bootable device. I can either just move this down to the lowest spot or anything below my hard drive, or I can go in and just remove my Windows DVD as a device in Hyper-V. And you can do the same thing in UEFI or Setup. Now I'm going to start it up, and I should see a boot menu that pops up, and it'll give me the option to boot into F8, and then I can go into Safe Mode. Once in Safe Mode, I'll be able to click on the Accessibility button, and then I should be able to reset my password. All right. My virtual machine is booted up, and it doesn't matter if this is physical or virtual machine. And I'll click on Ease of Access and take a look. I now get a command prompt. So I want to type in net user administrator, followed by the password that I want. I'm just going to put in a simple password with a capital P and a zero. Now, if this is a domain controller, you'll also want to put in the slash domain, because that'll reset the domain password for Active Directory. If it's not, you can just do it without the slash domain. But this is actually a domain control. So now I can click Exit. And now I can go ahead and type in my new password. And now I have successfully logged in after resetting my password. Now I'm going to go ahead and restart back into normal mode. And I should be able to log in and open up Active Directory using my new password. Let's see if that works. I'll go ahead and log in, and it looks like everything is working as it should. And I'm logged all the way back into Windows. Resetting your password either for the local administrator or the domain administrator is a great way to get back your server from a hacker that might have reset your passwords.